because I had had this opportunity to work at the White House as the press secretary, um, and I think you're probably the same. Like, how many calls do you get a week yeah. for mentoring advice? Did you know Dana Perimo was a DJ turned politician? That's not the only thing this celebrity journalist did that shocked everyone during her years of service in the working class space. Right from childhood, Dana always had big dreams and her ambition led her to even work alongside the president as the press secretary of the White House. We bet there are dozens of things you never knew about Dana, but you're in luck because we're about to reveal to you all you weren't told about this amazing woman. Grab your popcorn and join us on this exciting ride down Dana's memory lane. Educational background and inspiration. The world of journalism might seem like a tight-knit community with familiar names, one of whom is Dana Perino. She's not just a news anchor, but also a former White House press secretary who later became a host on Fox News. Her straightforward approach, dedication to her work, and outspoken opinions have earned her recognition both nationally and internationally. Alongside other well-known news personalities like Rachel Maddow, Chris Cuomo, and David Muir, Perino stands out. Despite her media prominence, many aspects of her personal life, upbringing, education, and charitable activities remain relatively unknown. But we've researched to uncover everything about Dana Perino that may have gone unnoticed. So relax and get ready to discover more about her. Dana Perino's calm conduct traces back to her peaceful upbringing in Wyoming and Colorado. When we think about the bustling world of politics and news in Washington, D.C., we often imagine tasking and draining activities. You might assume that Perino, who excelled in such an environment, had a political background, but contrary to this assumption, Perino was actually born in Wyoming and spent her formative years in Colorado. She often remembers her peaceful childhood, describing it as positive and calm in an interview with Fox News, as reported by Business Insider. Perino attributes her composed nature to her upbringing, including a connection to nature. Spending summers on her grandfather's ranch in Wyoming provided her with invaluable lessons about maintaining a positive outlook, she revealed. This foundation likely influenced her composed and level-headed demeanor on air, earning her nicknames such as the voice of reason and a voice of calm, as noted by Business Insider. Perino compares her personality to the optimism required of ranchers, who must believe in the survival of their cattle through winter and the growth of their crops. She believes her naturally sunny personality is a product of this upbringing. Besides, her upbringing has significantly influenced her professional endeavors, inspiring her to pen the book and the good news is, lessons and advice from the bright side. Even since she was young, Dana Perino had an undying aspiration to explore the niche of journalism and news hosting and anchoring. Even as she thought of her collegiate path, her heart remained steadfastly set on pursuing studies in journalism. But the question of where to pursue this dream was her biggest concern. At first, she imagined herself amidst the bustling activities of a large university, complete with football games and lively parties. Unfortunately, her father wanted a different path for her, urging her to consider the University of Southern Colorado. Initially resistant and disheartened at the mere thought of it, her reluctance persisted throughout the journey to the campus. She approached the visit with a cloud of discontent hanging over her, unwilling even to entertain the notion of attending. But upon setting foot on the university grounds, a remarkable transformation swept over her. Engaging with the faculty and enjoying the atmosphere, she had a change of heart. It became increasingly obvious to her that this institution resonated deeply with her aspirations and offered the nurturing environment she sought. She then embarked on her academic journey at the University of Southern Colorado, earning a degree in mass communication, supplemented by minors in Spanish and political science. After that, she pursued her enthusiasm for journalism further, obtaining a master's degree in public affairs reporting from the University of Illinois Springfield and cementing her path in the news and media industry. That's not all. When Dana Perino finished her studies at the University of Illinois Springfield, she thought she would immediately start a career in journalism. It was her major, and it seemed like the natural choice. 
But in an interview with Cosmopolitan, the former press secretary revealed that a professor suggested she consider a career in politics. Intrigued, she decided to try an internship at the Colorado State Capitol. She applied and she was accepted for the CBS affiliate internship, but during her time there, she began to doubt if it was the right path for her. What caused Perino to question her career choice? She explained to Cosmo that there wasn't much variety in news reporting back then, and she soon realized that if she wanted to succeed in broadcasting, she would have to start from the bottom in local markets. That didn't appeal to her, so Dana changed direction and began working for Colorado politicians like Scott McInnes and Dan Schaefer. According to her website, she later shifted to public relations in California before eventually relocating to Washington, D.C. Dana Perino, known for her conservative beliefs, had a unique upbringing influenced by her father, Leo Perino. Despite his own conservative stance, Leo emphasized the importance of considering different viewpoints to Dana from a very young age. He made sure Dana stayed informed about global events and encouraged her to engage in debates, even during their family dinners. Leo believed strongly that every story had multiple perspectives, so he and Dana would often argue from their own biases and then switch sides to argue the opposing viewpoint. Leo thought that this approach helped Dana develop an understanding and appreciation for diverse opinions. Dana's younger sister, Angie Noor, formerly Angie Perino, often observed these discussions without actively participating due to her age. The first ever Republican woman to work as the press secretary for the White House. When we talk about people who speak for the White House, we usually think of Jen Psaki, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, and Sean Spicer. But did you know that Dana Perino was also a press secretary for the White House? And it was a very important position. According to records from George W. Bush's time as president, Perino not only spoke for the president, but also worked closely with him. Before she got this important job, she worked as someone who helped communicate about the environment for the White House. This experience probably helped her get the job as press secretary. So what made Perino's appointment special? According to her own website, Perino was the first woman from the Republican Party to be chosen as the White House's press secretary. Before her, only men had done the job. In the early 2000s, this was a big deal and meant a lot for women who worked in journalism and politics. Perino worked for the Bush administration for seven years, and her work there highlights her career. Initially, Dana Perino had aspirations to work in Colorado politics, but her path took an unexpected turn when she landed a job in public relations in California. The direction of her life dramatically shifted in the wake of the tragic events of September 11, 2001. Recounting the pivotal day in an interview with Colorado Politics, Perino revealed how she reached out to her friend Mindy Tucker amidst the chaos unfolding in Washington, D.C. At the time, Tucker was collaborating with then-Attorney General John Ashcroft. In the midst of the uncertainty, Tucker extended an invitation to Perino, urging her to come to D.C. once the situation settled. Without hesitation, Perino began packing her belongings in her San Diego residence while still engaged in conversation with Tucker, and she never returned. This impromptu decision inspired her to relocate to the nation's capital, where she embarked on a new chapter by initially joining the Justice Department before transitioning to a role within the White House staff. Reflecting on her early days in D.C., Perino remembered a conversation with Andy Card, the chief of staff under President George W. Bush. Card emphasized the importance of integrity and showed that their allegiance extended beyond serving the president to serving the American people. In 1997, Dana Perino had an interesting experience while traveling from Denver to Chicago. She found herself seated next to a friendly man who mentioned that he wasn't married. Perino later shared with Yahoo, life that she was taking a break from her time in Washington, D.C., as things weren't going well there, and she wasn't expecting much from the dating scene, but her outlook changed dramatically when she met Peter McMahon, a British man, during the flight. They instantly connected and it turned out that McMahon had been hoping they would end up sitting together even before they boarded the plane. 
He recalled seeing Perino, thinking she looked cute with her ponytail swaying, and wishing he could sit beside her. Similarly, Perino found McMahon attractive, noticed he wasn't married, and was charmed by his British accent. Another interesting fact about her personal life is that Dana really loves dogs. She often talks about how much joy they bring to her life. She has even mentioned her love for her own dogs in interviews and on social media. Dana enjoys spending time with them, playing fetch or just cuddling up together. She believes that dogs are great companions and can teach important lessons about love, loyalty and living in the moment. Dana's love for dogs is so strong that she often advocates for animal welfare and supports initiatives to help dogs in need. Overall, Dana's love for dogs is a big part of who she is, and it's clear that they hold a special place in her heart. On another topic, let's talk about her work relationship with former President George Bush. George W. Bush was president two times. People who worked with him in the government got used to their daily lives. Dana Perino was one of them. When Bush's time as president ended, many asked her what she would do next. She didn't know for a long time, but in February 2008, she went with Bush to Africa. They visited Benin, Tanzania, Rwanda, Ghana, and Liberia. That's when Perino found her next job. After she finished as press secretary, she went back to Africa. Perino and her husband Peter McMahon spent two weeks there. They volunteered for Living Hope, a group based on faith. Perino worked with people affected by HIV and AIDS. She even mentioned helping others was great for her. Before Dana Perino became the poised woman you see on TV as a press secretary, she actually worked as a disc jockey. Surprising, right? She mentioned on her website that it was one of her most unusual jobs. She played country music on Saturday and Sunday mornings from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. One interesting tidbit, the top song during her time as a DJ was Billy Ray Cyrus's Achy Breaky Heart. Perino described her DJ job as exhausting, juggling it with waiting tables. She mentioned to Cosmopolitan that back then, having radio experience was important for a journalism career. While she didn't stick with country music, this job kick-started her media career. After graduating early, she landed a role at Capital Journal, which she referred to as her big break, even though it was small-scale reporting. Regarding this, she said it was small ball junior bear cub reporting, but they gave her a chance. Dana Perino is also one of the people who started a company that helps people communicate better. This company is called a strategic communications firm. It means they help businesses and organizations talk to people in the best way possible. Being a founding partner means she helped create the company from the beginning. So, Dana Perino played a big role in starting this company that focuses on assisting others to communicate effectively. Dana Perino, known for her Republican views, was chosen by former President Obama for a surprising bipartisan appointment. Despite their political differences, Senator Mitch McConnell suggested Perino for a role in the Broadcasting Board of Governors, which Obama accepted. Perino expressed her gratitude for the appointment and her readiness to serve on the bipartisan board if confirmed. This move was both bipartisan and compliant with the board's regulations, as only four of its eight members can be affiliated with the president's party. Perino's nomination proved her qualifications for the position, although some were taken aback considering her past opposition to some of Obama's decisions. Not minding that, she described Obama as a phenomenal candidate, indicating her willingness to work across party lines. Perino's appointment was seen as a positive step towards bipartisanship. Things were looking up for the journalist DJ. The Fox News hosts special episode of Jeopardy. Dana Perino, a familiar face from her public speaking engagements and her role on Fox News, has also made an appearance on the popular quiz show Jeopardy during its Power Players Week. Alongside Perino, notable figures such as Chris Wallace, Anderson Cooper, Chuck Todd, and basketball legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar were recruited by Jeopardy to engage in friendly competition on the syndicated series. Despite her extensive experience addressing the public from behind a podium, 
Perino humbly admitted that her familiarity with press-related topics didn't necessarily guarantee success on the show. Reflecting on her time as a contestant, Perino remarked that with the press, usually she could guess the questions. When it came time for Perino to face off against Abdul Jabbar, known for his confidence, particularly in matters of politics and current events, he expressed his preparedness, stating that he was pretty up to date with what was going on as he read the paper every day. As with many celebrity-driven game shows, the competition is Jeopardy! wasn't centered around monetary prizes, but rather a $50,000 donation to the charity of the winner's choosing, emphasizing the charitable aspect of the event. Politics can seem risky, but for Dana Perino, it wasn't just a metaphorical bump in the road. It left her with a literal black eye. There's more. On a trip to Baghdad with then-President George W. Bush during the final stretch of his second term, things took an unexpected turn. As NPR recounted, Perino was at a press conference with Iraqi reporters, initially feeling impressed by their presence. She remarked to her colleague Ed Gillespie about the significance for these journalists, who likely never imagined they'd have the opportunity to question their country's leader, let alone the leader of the free world. But her optimism was short-lived. Amidst the gathering, one individual, labeled by Perino as a so-called journalist, hurled not one but two shoes at President Bush's head, prompting the intervention of the Secret Service to shield him. In the chaos, an agent leaped forward to intercept the airborne shoes, inadvertently colliding with the steel arm of a boom mic held by an interpreter. The swinging arm struck Perino squarely in the eye socket, causing her considerable pain. It was a moment that showed the unpredictability and at times the physical danger that can accompany political engagements, even in seemingly controlled environments. Dana Perino's professional endeavors extend beyond her work in the public eye, delving into the realm of philanthropy with her involvement in minute mentoring. Established in 2009, this initiative was co-founded by Perino, alongside policy expert D. Martin and public relations professional Jamie Zuiback. Their aim? To cultivate a platform dedicated to mentoring young women, equipping them with the necessary skills for success in the workforce while granting them access to invaluable role models and professional guidance. What sets Minute Mentoring apart is its innovative approach, characterized by brief yet impactful mentorship sessions dubbed Speed Dating for Women Leaders and Young Women Rising Stars. The purpose was to the efficiency of these interactions emphasizing the value of concise yet meaningful exchanges. Perino and her collaborators designed the organization to facilitate nationwide participation, empowering women from all walks of life to host their own minute long mentorship sessions. The Minute Mentoring website is a hub offering comprehensive guidelines for hosting such events. The roster of past mentors is impressive, proving the involvement of the U.S. Senators and Representatives esteemed corporate figures, and prominent women in the media sphere. Regardless of one's political affiliations, the many women supporting other women resonate powerfully through initiatives like minute mentoring, reaffirming the significance of fostering solidarity and empowerment within female networks. Dana Perino is also really popular on social media. She's got a big following on platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. People like to follow her because she shares interesting stuff about politics, news, and sometimes just about her daily life. She posts photos, videos, and updates regularly, so her followers always have something new to see. Dana's social media presence helps her connect with many people and share her thoughts and ideas with a broad audience. It's like she's chatting with friends online, but on a much bigger scale. And because she's so well-known and respected in politics and news, her social media posts often get a lot of attention and engagement. Dana Perino's strong social media presence helps her stay connected with her fans and followers, and it's a big part of how she communicates with the world. Dana Perino will always be a familiar face in the news and media industry because she was in a different spotlight after her tenure at the White House. While her appearances on C-SPAN became less frequent, Perino's return to television was catalyzed by Fox News host Sean Hannity, 
who regularly invited her as a guest commentator on his show. Hannity's persuasion and belief in her talent led to a permanent position at the network as he advocated for her to join the team. Recounting the transition, Perino revealed Hannity thought she brought something unique and wanted her on board. As a result, she received more invitations to appear on other shows and even had the opportunity to guest host Fox and Friends, which pushed her out of my comfort zone. Following Glenn Beck's departure from Fox News, there was a void to fill in the 5 p.m. slot, leading to the creation of Perino's current role on The Five. But Perino's journey wasn't without its share of unexpected moments. She made headlines when she inadvertently shared a secret on air that wasn't meant to be public knowledge. Reflecting on her evolution, Perino admitted that, mirrored before The Five, her public presence predominantly expressed the views of others rather than her own. Transitioning into this role allowed her to express her opinions publicly for the first time. It's been a transformative career shift, and she now feels more authentically herself, expressing her own views and perspectives. What do you think about these facts? Which one did you find to be the most interesting? Share with us in the comments. We would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Until next time, subscribe to our change so you never miss an update.